This light bulb is in the personal collection of England's Beth Crook and is still shining after an incredible 134 years. It dates back to 1883 and first belonged to the late Florence Crook who once took it to school to dazzle her classmates. It was then passed down to her son Kenneth, in Morricane, Lanx, and is still in use by his widow Beth. The bulb was built with six internal filaments which have all stood the test of time and is one of the earliest products of the Edis Wand factory which started production way back in 1881. The Eternal Light, as it's known, was credited as the longest lasting, continuously burning bulb in the 1970 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records that is. Until the Centennial Light in Livermore, California was discovered. It was then knocked back to second place where it remains to this day, but it is no less impressive. It was originally installed by a stagehand at the Byers Opera House in Fort Worth on September 21, 1908, above the backstage door. When the theater was demolished in 1977, the bulb was transported to a museum located in the Livestock Exchange building. Since its reinstallation, it has only been turned off once. The Eternal Light, as it's known, was credited as the longest lasting, continuously burning bulb in the 1970 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records that is. Until the Centennial Light in Livermore, California was discovered. It was then knocked back to second place where it remains to this day, but it is no less impressive. It was originally installed by a stagehand at the Byers Opera House in Fort Worth on September 21, 1908, above the backstage door. When the theater was demolished in 1977, the bulb was transported to a museum located in the Livestock Exchange building. Since its reinstallation, it has only been turned off once. In 1981, Manhattan hardware store owner Jack Gasnick was also the owner of the third oldest, continually running light bulb on the planet and he wasn't happy about it. In 1981, he wrote advice columnist Abigail Van Buren to denounce the oldest, or alleged, oldest, running bulb in Livermore, California as a fraud. He apparently had no knowledge of the eternal light in Fort Worth. Gasnick's bulb was reportedly turned on in 1912, yet it received no accolades, no fame, no noble title, and ended its long life in obscurity. Gasnick, frustrated that his bulb was not winning the recognition that he felt that it deserved, sold his business, retired, and disappeared. The store, and the entire half block on which it stood, was leveled in 2003, and we don't know if Gasnick took his bulb with him or it ended up shattered under the rubble. Mangum Fire Chief Stephen Slatten is the de facto caretaker of one of the world's oldest continuously burning bulbs. We have a light bulb that we know of, that has been burning since 1927. If you think about it, the state of Oklahoma was 30 years old when it was screwed in. The light has no power switch and runs from being hardwired directly into the electricity, so there's no turning it off. Numerous markings indicate it has stood the test of patience. Some time ago, different firemen had painted black spots on it and stuff like that to dim the light so they could sleep at night, said Slatten. The bulb itself shows no signs of quitting and has plenty of caretakers around that vow to keep it burning for future generations. The only way you're going to turn it off is you unscrew it, and that's not allowed in my era, Slatten added. A bulb that may have been burning since the early 1900s has been recently discovered glowing dimly in the basement of the Fire Museum of York County, Pennsylvania. What is it with fire stations and long burning bulbs? Dennis Kunkel, director of facilities for the York County History Center, can't say for certain how long the bulb has been operating, but since the building was built in 1903, it is possible that the bulb has been with it since day one. The smoky coating inside the bulb indicates that it probably contains carbon filaments, which were replaced with tungsten in light bulbs after about 1920. The bulb was removed from the basement socket of the Fire Museum in April 2017 and added to the York County History Center collection, 